one of the things that you talk about is DNA damage. Yes. My understanding is DNA cannot repair itself. Uh, it can, but uh, the kind of DNA damages that has been shown using microwave exposure, the exactly the same type as for wireless internet systems, is such that it could maybe in the future evolve into, for instance, brain tumors. And uh, so that's again a scary panorama in the future, and hopefully it will not. But, I mean, after all, we are playing with the most precious item you have, namely your own children. When you look at the studies you did with mice, do you think that there is a chance that within the third generation of females, they may be irreversibly sterile? Not in the third generation, but in the fifth generation, and that would for humans be something in the order of 150 years ahead of us. And of course, then it's too late to say that you are sorry, and it's very too late to say stop. So I would suggest that you have, uh, at least for the time being, uh, a moratorium, a stop to these systems, use a wide in the meantime, and uh, check out for effects of radiation. And um, again, as you said yourself, there is a wealth of papers. I mean, we're talking about thousands of published papers in the scientific literature, few of which, or sometimes none of which, have entered the official documentations from authorities and likewise. So I think it's really time to have an independent compilation of data. Uh, such was done at August 31st, 2007, in the form of the Bioinitiative Report, of which I was one of the authors. And then we put together approximately 2,000 scientific references on a little bit more than 600 pages, clearly saying that if you, for instance, if you are a rat or a mouse or a cell or a molecule, you should definitely not allow yourself to be exposed to this. And in the meantime, we have this full-scale experiment using our own kids.